Hello everyone, welcome. Can you hear me? Hello. Okay, okay. So now we'll start today's class. So first I simply share my screen. Okay, so now can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Okay. okay. Okay, so let's go. So okay. Hi and welcome to the beginners to advanced course on Google Earth Engine for remote sensing analysis. So basically today is our uh, fifth number of class and today uh, mainly we will try to discuss about the air quality parameters how you can easily make the different types of air quality parameters or uh, density map uh, using the Google Earth Engine platform and we are using here the Sentinel-5 satellite imagery for the nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, methane, carbon monoxide all of the other gases which are available for the Sentinel-5 sensor we also try to use the data set and try to make the density map then how you can easily download the air quality parameters time series data in csv file format how you can easily convert the unit on uh, different gases and how to make the time series chart of air quality parameters and finally how you can easily export the map uh, as a and uh, export this map as a tip format and use the arc map software what other things how you can easily do it okay so basically here you can see the two types of map uh, mainly first map is the methane concentration map of kuwait mainly this unit is the ppb uh, parts per billion and we can calculate it, all of the things for methane concentration in uh, Google Earth Engine platform and final product we can just simply uh, download as a tip format and create this map in ArcMap software for showing the methane concentration map of Kuwait. The same process also for the nitrogen dioxide concentration map year of 2020 month of January we can uh, make the nitrogen dioxide concentration map and this unit is the mole per meter square and this map is also same process we can create it in google earth engine platform and final product we can download it as a tip images and work with the arc map software for making this map and also you can see uh, nitrogen dioxide level rebound we can also observe the different time period suppose uh, this is the before lockdown during lockdown post lockdown in the covid session and monitor the nitrogen dioxide level rebound in Bangladesh. We can also, in the same process, we can also download the TP image from the night Google Earth Engine platform. And final product, we can download it from the Google Earth Engine platform. Okay, so mainly uh, in this time, we are using here the air quality monitoring using the Sentinel 5 satellite imagery. Sentinel 5 is mainly focused on air quality and composition, climate interaction with main data products, mainly ozone, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, formaldehyde methane aerosol we can easily observe all of the gases uh, using the signal 5 satellite imagery and this is the data set link we can simply go to this link and then try to access all of the data set or if you want you can simply uh, go to your code editor um, then you can simply uh, press on the browse data catalog here you can get uh, all of the data set so in this time we are using our the sentinel so just i simply use our sentinel Okay, so now I can say simply click on the Sentinel and here I can get all of the Sentinel image collection. Sentinel 1, Sentinel 2. I want to work with the Sentinel 5 uh, tropospheric monitoring instrument. This data set I want to work. Basically, this data set provides you all of the atmospheric uh, air quality parameters such as uh, ozone, methane, formaldehyde, aerosol, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide. We can easily get all of the gases information from this data set. Okay. So now I can see this is our data set. Uh, we can easily use all of the data set and try to make our map or constant density map, then time series chart. So in this time, suppose I want to work with all of the things will be same process when you want to work. Suppose uh, sulfur dioxide, same process you can also apply for the methane. Same process also apply for the ozone, nitrogen dioxide. All of the gas this is the same process. So in this time, I try to show you this part for the nitrogen dioxide. This gas, how you can easily work with this, but you can also apply the same process for other all of the gases in here. So just I simply click on here. Then I can get all of the information about this data set. You can see uh, mainly this data set is the between this time period. We can get the data set year of 2018 0628. 
from 2023 01 17 17 january between this time period we can get the data set and data set provided is that uh, european union yes copernicus we can get uh, this is a data set provider and this is a uh, unique id of this data set also you can get the, all of the information about this data set uh, data set product mainly this is the offline high resolution imagery of nitrogen dioxide concentration this data set provide and uh, also you can see the some band and the resolution is that 1113.2 meter this data set you can see the different types of band give you the different types of information such as nitrogen number column number density it provides the total vertical column of nitrogen dioxide also you can see tropospheric nitrogen column number density it is the tropospheric particle column of nitrogen dioxide so his band you want to need you can simply work with this band you can see stratospheric on different uh, tropopos, uh, pressure, we can get all of the things in here with different types of band is available in here so in this time i just simply work with the nitrogen number uh, nitrogen column number density this band and then make the nitrogen dioxide density map for any region okay so first of all uh, i just need to import this image collection in my code editor so just i simply open copy this id just simply copy and then paste in my code editor I just simply put the variable name suppose uh, this variable name is that data okay you can use any name and suppose in this time i need the density map for the any region suppose in this time i simply work with the region of uh, suppose whole country boundary of bangladesh so from this asset i simply import the whole country boundary shape file of bangladesh so so here I already imported the shape file. Okay. So I simply import the shape file in here. Okay. So now I can see the shape file is also imported in here. Just I simply change the name. Suppose this is the ROI. You can use any name as a variable. In this time, this image collection, I need to filter according to my time period, according to my region, according to the specific band. Okay. So for that. You can simply use the another variable suppose i put the variable name or if you want you can simply put the all of the things uh function using the dot notation so just i simply use here the dot notation and put here this suppose uh, first of all select function okay select i simply select the specific band which band i want to work so in this time i want to work with this band suppose nitrogen number column number density this and this unit is the mole per meter square just I simply copy and paste here okay then I also simply use here this another thing suppose I simply use here the filter date function filter date and I put here my specific time period suppose I simply put here the 2000 uh, 2020 suppose 2022 first January from I can simply put here this 2020 first january 31 okay and then i simply put here this another thing is that i simply put here the filter bounds function and then put here this according to the roi so now i want to check how many images are available for this region uh, for i simply use the print function and then call this data variable name because it is stored all of the things in the data i simply use the size function and then click to the run so now it computing we can get for the region of bangladesh month of january year of 2022 uh, for the nitrogen number column number density we can get total 418 images okay so now i can use all of the images and then create the density map for the region of bangladesh okay for that uh, i just simply First of all, I need to reduce this image collection. Okay, if you want to check the time period, you can see. I simply check the time period, all of the total 418 images. We can get the for this month of January, the image is taken for the different time period. You can see. And so you can see the time period is that. Here, 2001st January, we can get the same image is the 1st January. 
then second january also some image you can see second january also you can see the third january also you can get the fifth six all of the images we can get in here so in this time uh i use all of the images and then created the average pixel value so that i can get the average density map so for that i need to reduce this image collection so i simply take a variable suppose i simply take the variable name suppose average no2 you can use any variable name and then you add the i simply call the data and paste here and use the reduce function i want to use the mean function ee dot reducer dot mean and then i just simply take another variable suppose this variable name is the study area and then call this average no2 then paste here the cliff and use the cliff with my shape file r o i okay or if you want you can simply use here the clip function in here also suppose i put here the clip uh, clip and put here the roi okay then this is my final object okay so in this time you can see i simply copy the variable name and use here the clip function so in this time my final object is a study area okay so now i want to show the result so for that i simply use here the map dot add layer function map dot add layer and call this study area and click the run okay so it added a layer you can so we can get the result look like this okay totally black color because i did not add any visualization in this time so for that i need to add the visualization so for this i simply go to the below and you can see i simply copy this visualization their default visualization and then paste in here and then simply copy this variable name and then paste after the object name and click to the run okay so now we can get the density map of nitrogen dioxide for a whole country boundary of bangladesh So now you can see we can get the data for the nitrogen dioxide density map of nitrogen di month of january 2022 okay so this the red color identify the high density okay we can get the high density also you can see it then this is the low you can see this is the combination okay there are the color combination this color combination i can set you can see black it will be uh when i can get the any black pixel will it's identified that is the lowest pixel value or lowest uh, density of nitrogen dioxide and red is identified the high, uh, highest okay then uh, we yellow then green then cyan this type of color okay you can use any color combination in here okay but when you can download this tip images and you can easily add here the color map using the arc map software look like this map you can easily create it and you can easily add here the gradient legend look like this using the arc map software okay just simply download the tip images and you can easily make this map in here so you can see this is the nitrogen dioxide uh, density map we can create it for the bangladesh so in this time i need to create the time series chart suppose uh, between this uh, month of january i want to need the what when the nitrogen high and low we need to observe from the time series chart okay so that's why in this time i use the same code and try to show you that how you can easily uh, make the time series chart okay so in this time when you want to export the is suppose you need to export this map same function you need to use so use at the export image to drive and put all of the argument uh, then you can simply ex export this map okay so you already a lot of time we discuss about the code so you can just try to for your own self for exporting this map so in this time we talk about the suppose uh, time series chart suppose i want to make the time series chart uh, using this all of the images okay so for that i simply take a variable suppose variable name is a chart okay i simply use the ui dot 
char dot image dot series this function and I, here i can get all of the argument i simply make a dictionary in here simply curly bracket start and curly bracket int okay first of all image collection so image collection is that how many images you want to use to create this map okay so here we can already uh, get the result you can see when i print this value i simply use at the print here i can get total i think 400 180 images i simply data and then simply use here the size function and click to the run so now i can see okay so i simply use at the commenting because okay, i simply commenting and click to the run again so now i can say i can get the total image collection how many number 418 images okay so in this time i want to make the chart using the total 418 images and this image is stored in a variable what's the variable name variable name is the data i just simply copy the data and this is my key value of the image collection i simply put here this data then region region is your uh boundary boundary is that ry roi then reducer reducer is then i want to use at the mean reducer or average so i simply use at the ee dot reducer reducer dot mean then scale is the resolution of your satellite images in this time 1113.2 meter then next property i simply put at the x property is that system time start i simply remove it it's and also remove it okay. then i simply print this chart then it also make the time series chart print this chart i simply copy and paste here and click to the run so now you can see it also generating the time series chart it working So, okay, so I think some networking issues, so that's why it takes some time.